This is the all new Amazon EKS dashboard, a single view that aggregates data about all of your Kubernetes clusters, even those you connect that might be running outside of AWS. All right, let's dig into this. So setup is fairly straightforward. Um, so the first thing you'll do is from the management account of your AWS organization, you'll enable trusted access. Um, you'll also likely wanna set up a delegated administrator and that's it. Open up the dashboard and let's dive in. Let's start from the perspective of a cloud architect uh, that very quickly wants to see the lay of the land. So this top widget here will show me quick info about my clusters. I can even scroll down and get a whole lot of other information like cluster versions, regions, accounts, that kind of thing. I could even dive into managed node groups to see managed node groups by version, capacity type, AMI type, a whole lot more, and the add-ons view, which will show me which add-ons I've installed. Okay, uh, let's quickly shift gears here, go back to the main view. And as a platform admin, I want quick zero friction compliance checks. Okay, I wanna see which clusters are running in older versions or extended support versions uh, of Kubernetes. Digging into this widget here, I can see it's about over 1700 clusters and I can see where they're running. And in the upgrade insights column, I can even see issues that would prevent the upgrade from going through like deprecated API usage, things like that. I can also go to the map view to see exactly where these clusters are running so I can plan out those upgrades. Okay, lastly, let's shift gears. Imagine I'm a FinOps engineer and I wanna project out how much extended support will cost. Uh, and we can see the projected cost of running these over the next N number of days here. And if we wanted to, we could even dive in deeper into those clusters. We're excited to see how you'll use the new EKS dashboard. You can get started today in the AWS console or check out the links in the description below. By the way, there's no additional charge for using EKS dashboard. Thanks for watching.